We're live right now. No, we can bring them back up. We usually bolt. Now I bullshit for a little bit in the first few minutes while people come in. Um, yeah, so restream is really, uh, I think it's an asset, honestly, because there's a lot, like you yeah. see on the back end, um, that you can do. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, Thank you for the stars. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's my default. Yeah. <laughs> Hold yeah, on. But so it's, yeah, because it pulls in the comments from your page. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Episode hey, 45. If you're tuning in, we're just uh, getting things started. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about new restream. So you should be able to see the comments, correct? Or yes, I see it on both, on all the platforms. Yeah, exactly. So we got, uh, let's see, Aguardo here, Daniel Clark. Uh, let's see, Eric. DJ Mark V is here. Erica, I see you, Erica. MDNTM. Uh, who else we got here? Show. Erica, there she is. Paired. So I think the ones that say paired are ones that are on yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, really cool. Thomas, you I see you, Thomas Blair. We are uh, going live. We got dj mark v tonight we're gonna shoot the stuff talk about music um real cool because uh he's a, a i call him big time dj out of oh, thank you brother that uh we we cross promote together which is huge Appreciate uh, you. and i figured your fans hard to really talk with you when you're doing the shows on friday so uh, -huh. uh people have a chance to kind of mingle with you tonight uh, episode 45. Also, we had three big giveaways going on. Um, we were giving away a excess power battery, audio control, uh, epicenter micro, give them time to catch up, and then an audio control uh, ACX32 channel. Yeah, right there. So we're going to be announcing those winners tonight. Uh, some big news actually uh before i start like comment and share share this out uh we are broadcasting on uh our facebook's our youtubes and also mark v that's what he's doing right now he's probably responding yes. to people <laughs> so hit that like button share us out weird night car audio dj audio music audio it's all the same um just something a little different okay. jt's that's garage cool. here uh erica said how do we play i know the unfortunately the uh giveaways were already in the process people had to watch the video comment we're announcing the winners uh tonight but some new news uh we actually made a full page write-up and drag illustrated not drag like drag but drag racing uh we we actually have a racer camry caruso we sponsor in the vehicle uh this was in this month's drag illustrated magazine really cool um big brand coming in that we're going to be the master ambassador or master distributor we're running it for the usa b2 audio actually got picked up today and is on the way here and we should see it within two weeks we just started building b2 audio usa.com um so th that's pretty huge um what else we got? AMI Electronics and Sound. Who else we got? Jesse Houston. So, this is a night tonight to talk about music. Some old school, some new school. Uh, DJ Mark V is just one of those really cool, down-to-earth people. Um, Thank you. How does DJ and live streaming content differ from, like, being at the club or at an event? Oh, Big Jeff, what a great question. First and foremost, thank you to Big Jeff Goldman and his entire staff, his entire team. And Big Jeff, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for having me here. I'm honored and I'm, I can't wait to talk about about everything under the sun. So Yeah, yeah. No, this is definitely a different night for everybody and a chance for your followers yes, to sir. maybe chime in. I think um, I know every Friday when it comes on, I get the whole crew to get it and comment. And it's just a little release. And you can notice and you see the people that comment on your live stream that are at work and 
and people are ready to chime in or I see even people like happy to be the first one. I noticed that. Oh yeah. Week, right. Yeah. And, and that's huge. And, and I think, you know, we talked about it before, but you don't do this for the money because you have a income. This is fun for you. I mean, yeah. the stars help out and add up, yeah. but this is not your source of living. It definitely does. Uh, all the contributions and the donations, it all goes towards what you don't see behind this camera, which is is a lot. And it, it definitely helps keep uh, everything going. It, it keeps everything um, working. <laughs> right. The internet, the power. Uh, Pete Boyd, I see you, everyone, there on the Facebook page. I didn't forget about you. Gerald, thank you so much. Uh, Big Jeff's asks, uh, what's the what's the, the connect with the streaming and, and DJing versus uh, in, in the club? And I would have to say is, is, is that, is the connection, you know? When you're in person, when you're at a venue, it, it's very different to, as opposed to, you know, streaming. But as when the pandemic hit, you know, streaming in general, not even for just DJing, just even with you, Big Jeff, you know, streaming on YouTube or Facebook and, and all the other platforms, it's a different way of connecting to your fans and to your, and to your demographic. So uh, in person, in the club, in the venues, it's great for that intimate uh, experience or that intimate, that space is, is cut in half. You know, you're, you're literally there with your dance floor. You're there as opposed to someone's profile, you know, chatting in on the screen. Right. Uh, right. But now, as you already see with, with music and, and the, everything's going out, uh, being sent to the masses, streaming is a, is a lot quicker, faster, and more broader way to connect to people because a lot of people should, during the pandemic have seen like, hey, I don't have to go to the club. I right. can just turn on yes, my uh, phone. Let's do this. Before we get too further, we got enough people in here. Yes. We're going to kick the show off right, and we'll be back with DJ Mark V. Ben, let's get this started. We back at it. Let's go. Yo, it's the Big Sound Podcast. Welcome back. We got one hell of a cast to keep it action packed. Big Ben in the box, chilling behind the scenes. Taylor chopped his locks, and so now he's Mr. Clean. Big Jeff up next, yeah, he hosts the shows. Got audio legends coming on the set. Wanna score some advice? Swish, nothing but net. And the usual suspects at the chats. We got Deviant for Life stays rapping facts. Hit the website no matter what your budget Year make a model, we will tell you what fits And hair tricks, get them for just a dollar Cop a Big Jeff shirt and pop your collar Price is so low that you finna say thanks Big Jeff even got his own lithium banks We bout to take off like a convertible drop top Haters sneaking in, they get hit with that bot shot Get your shades on and your pinky ring then put your grills in and grab your Cuban link. Now you're ready to go. Yeah, it's time to begin. You know it's Big Jeff Audio for the win. Team Big Jeff, y'all can start the show. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, man. my God. Thank you I so much. Intros, man. Oh, um, man. You know, uh, thank Huge you everybody smile. for coming in. Episode 45, DJ Mark V. Yeah, he's a DJ in Orlando right now and does a live stream every Friday. And uh, we met, a, uh, I don't even know how we met. I think I just caught on to him and we just kind of marketed back and forth. And um, man, just one of those people that just always good vibe, good feeling. Oh, thank um, you. Man, that's, you know, it's, it's hard to do that and to keep doing what you're doing. I think let's just start with the basics for people that haven't seen you on here before. Um when did this start DJing and, and then you were, we were kind of talking about how it transferred over into live streaming. So let's start there. So everybody has an idea. Yeah, absolutely. Before uh, anyone tuning in, uh, I had the honor to be part of a, a, a previous podcast with Big Jeff. So be sure to check out BigJeffAudio.com for all of his social platforms on Facebook, YouTube. We have a part one with Big Jeff last year and it was a little, little short. So I'm honored to come back and do a part two with big jeff and his team yeah yeah for sure oh uh, yes sir thank you again and everyone in the chat i see you facebook i didn't forget about you so 
the thing with with DJing as with me, it, it all started with my my father. He was in the military and uh, in the Navy, and he would just as you know, decompressing from the stress of being in the military, he would go to his local record store. Right. And when I was a kid, I, I had these photos of me of these big old earphones listen to his his 45s and his records and he would just put them on my head and and cross fingers hope that i would like them the music and during that time which is i'm gonna date myself here so around the, like the 70s <laughs> in the early 80s it was a lot of disco right um a lot of, of funk soul and then later on we got into like the 80s and the new wave stuff and Quite frankly, frankly, from there, the rest is history. I, I, I just growing up, he, I just kept his 45s and his records. And as I, you know, got into my teens, I just was just intrigued on seeing sound come from a record, you know, a, a piece, just like a, a, a piece of plastic or wax. Right. And just hearing music come from a record and then coming out of the speakers. And I was just, to me, I was just blown away by that. I was just totally like in awe of how that was even possible. Like this needle vibrating and then all this sound coming out of it. And into my 20s, uh, as I we were talking about earlier, we moved from uh, Virginia, Maryland, came down here to Florida, to Orlando. My dad got stationed to the, the Navy base, which is no longer there. And that was my first time getting introduced to electronic music uh bass music quite frankly uh it was just blew me away because a lot of my roots was through like hip-hop right you know like the biz marquee the yeah eric and rakim and coming down here in like in the 80s around 89 90 i you know i have heard of two live crew but I, I wasn't as exposed to it as up north and the moment we landed here in florida hearing like Miami bass and just yeah. bass music and then hearing it come from the cars and the trucks that had the, the huge subwoofers, you know, four fifteens, uh, six eighteens, you know, shaking the earth and just hearing it come from those vehicles. I was like, I want my music to be played on those, in those cars, you know? Right. So it was, you know, the best experience I remember, um, my days, raves were legal. Ecstasy wasn't even a drug at the time. There was no right. charge for it. And I remember Fantasy Ranch. Um, I'm trying to remember. It used to be Mars, I think, that put on the productions. Um, yep. And I remember one night, man, I was tore up. But there was a song came on. White lights went up. And <laughs> man, it, the bass, you know, standing right in front of the whole, you know, setup. Yes. Just went right through me. And I, I still remember to this day. It was just... You know, you, you almost hooked at that point on music and what it can do to you. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, I've kind of liked now, I'm, I'm always a floor, old school Florida break beats, but, you know, this uh, dubstep and that, man, it's just a ton of highs and, and lows. And, man, you know, you can really test in our world the car audio by getting some of that, you know, playing hard. So oh, um, yes. they go hand in hand for sure. So... Was this ever like a job for you? Was this ever where you were doing it to make money or? Oh, great question. Uh, it it definitely started off as a hobby. Uh, just my passion and love of just seeing like a, what really made me want to do it as a hobby first is just I would spend my you know money my allowance uh yeah, you, you my... got thousands and thousands <laughs> of dollars just in records behind you let alone um, the equipment a little man. bit yeah just a little yeah. bit <laughs> yeah um you know that that's a that's a big hobby and yeah. i don't think it was as mainstream years ago i mean djs weren't dime a dozen like they are now where people are putting setups in their house every day uh and doing it so more mainstream when, when do you think you actually considered yourself professional? What year was that? Oh, I would have to say when I, it, about 94, 96, I got my big break at Universal The Groove. So there was a very uh, mainstream uh, nightclub out there at Universal called The Groove. Right. And I got my break when spinning at Firestone. So I'm, you may have heard of it. Yeah. Uh, downtown yeah, yeah. Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Firestone, and uh, there was a place, a park 
an area there called the den so it was just for djs that were just wanted they these djs weren't getting paid but they wanted to play 30 minute sets right they, they got short the stints right yeah exactly yeah and someone from universal studios came up to me and said hey i we're opening up a venue called the groove and we would like for you to 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 try it out matt the brat who is now in tampa right uh was the music director over there so I joined the crew for uh, several months with Matt the Brat. I was opening for Matt the Brat, and I I tried to bring the Florida sound, the break break beat music, to a mainstream audience. Wow! And I have some footage of that on my camcorder, believe it or not, that I still have. That one day I will upload and share that because I'm glad you brought that up. I would consider that like my, my first big break to 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 have it as an actual profession or a job you know believe it or not um middle school i started dj i stole my dad he had a techniques turntable nice and it wasn't even a good one i had to actually put quarters on top so <laughs> the needle wouldn't jump okay okay and i had a tape deck and wasn't even cd players yet and i had a radio shack mixer just a two-way mixer and that's where it started and i remember i got chance to do a pepper rally at the school Wow. And we didn't know better. So we're grabbing speakers from everybody's houses. And we have this, because we're in the gym. We have no fucking clue what we're doing, man. <laughs> and we just right. need to be loud enough for a gym. So we show up with like 16 different people's home speakers. Hook it all up to one amp. It don't work, obviously, because it's just too many. That is the uh, best setup, though. Yeah, that is... man. And uh, that was the first time ever. And then, believe it nice. or not, you know, I got in a lot of trouble in 99, and I was on the run. And um, one of the places I stopped, uh, I was DJing at, in Louisiana, actually. And uh, so it's been an in-and-out thing for me. Music's always nice. been an escape for me, for sure. But, you know, that. that's that's why Friday's so stressful here, man. I turn it up. I, can imagine. I probably have the loudest desk you've ever heard <laughs> oh, and, thank uh, you. you can ask my people here and we just turn it up and then i send out a company message to everybody you know hit up uh the feed and, and leave oh it. thank you um, and thank you to everyone in the chat i see you facebook chat i didn't forget about you we yeah got... we'll get some up here uh, yeah yeah got brandon dasher yeah we'll just click some what's up fellas we have uh erica being real responsive mark needs a manager i'm a skill guard thank I think you erica she's, she's put in the resume <laughs> Um, hired. You're hired. Uh, DV here is actually one who created the music for the intro for the show. He's done that plenty of oh, times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you, DV. That was awesome. Yeah. He, uh, man, he makes beats all the time. Never asked for a dollar. Uh, Respect. But he's there. Um, who else we got here? P. Roger, he's probably in a conversation. We'll go through some more in a little bit. So let me get to the next question. Um, yes. Is it. What I mean, what keeps you to do it every Friday? Uh, you know what? Um, man, I love these questions, Big Jeff. Friday was just like a roll of the dice, quite frankly. Um, as I, I may have mentioned, but when I first started streaming, it was from a phone, so I ran you know, quarter inch audio cable up to my phone, and you know, with a phone, you don't really get a wide range, so I literally had my phone on a tripod all the way up in the corner of the ceiling and then i was down here mixing looking at the phone going like you know going like this and i just started just to do i just saw i, I did it on a friday <laughs> yeah I just, right I just gotta go now you got yeah. a, now you got a badass <laughs> setup over there oh uh, I'm, uh, I'm blessed man the way thanks to you thanks to you the way your show comes about is off the chain you would think there's three people in the background running it uh, uh thank you big, thank you to the fans yes. big props to that um for you guys coming in we're going to be doing some giveaways for some uh promotions we were running the last couple of weeks um and we're here talking with dj mark v uh about what he does so uh, can you tell us what is what is the day job what do you actually do so just a lot of like property management just a lot of just managing uh property around here and right. other states so have a lot you, of it was inherited yeah have you ever just wanted to get back at a club and and do a whole set or what yes and no uh like uh, i personally want to do an event where i'm close to the fans you know like 
And a lot of people talk about like I don't know if you heard like the boiler room setup mm -hmm. where the fans are behind you. Right. And you're and they're in the DJ booth. And I noticed like a lot of the events, they there's a, a, a space between the dance floor and the booth. And at least for me, when I was growing up, going into the like the, the late night clubs, the DJ booths were a little closer to the dance floor. And now it's just a little bit of a disconnect for me. So uh, part of me, like I, I do want to do those events, but those events are just kind of like designed to just be space out the dance floor in the DJ. Right. And I know streaming is, is no different, right? It's literally through a computer. And we are literally distant, but I just, I, well, no, I just, you can see the connection, you know, when you say my yeah. suspects, right. <laughs> um, and those are the people that are constantly on. And, you know, I start to see the same people on there. You get, you have a big support system man. that I bet that lean on, or maybe oh, look for you. that Friday for you to do what you do. Um, that's pretty, you know, I mean, that's what it's about. Hey, uh, Taylor and Ben, the second video break, does that have some more of him okay. doing what he's doing? Yeah, why don't we just cut into that real quick? Okay. Go ahead and cut that in. I, I want to see what they put together. Nice. This content was removed due to copyrights, but everything else is great. Keep watching. You know, that's the other wow. thing. Yeah, man, you got so much energy going on. You're mixing, you're responding to people. You're dancing. I mean, that's a total workout. Wow. I mean, you got you do the show for what, like two hours? Yeah, I mean, I'd be winded because you don't stop through the whole thing. You just and you know what? I've uh, during my my, my seven, seven years, years or so doing this, I've only taken one bathroom break. <laughs> well, I was about to get to that. Have you ever just ran <laughs> to go to the bathroom? I mean. Uh, no. Two hours in a row, man. I yeah, mean, I, there's one where I was like, you know what? I can't hold it. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> I have to go. Right. And, and it, I've had some people are like, hey, you need to wear some like adult diapers or something. Like, no, you know my my attention is like on the chat. Like everyone, oh my god, Johnny, thank you for the stars. Uh, my my attention is, I quite frankly, Big Jeff, it's just seeing everyone whether it's a positive comment or negative comment like just seeing people just taking the time to comment and you know tune in i am wearing diapers and just seeing the interaction it just it's like a drug quite honestly right right me. right yeah i like you know, when i get in there and get it hyped up and get everybody yeah. commenting and then you know get them to comment where they're from sharing it out and we get those numbers up and it's like i'm trying to get you to work harder and start sweating more. Absolutely, I am. Yeah. I'm sweating, brother. I'm sweating. Man, you are uh, dancing and kicking and <laughs> dancing, man. That's pretty crazy. Um, I appreciate it. So, I mean, is there any changes you got coming up for the new year, or is it business as usual? Or, I mean, where does it go from here? Yes, sir. I love it. Uh, still business as usual, but I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from the chat. But one of the biggest requests from my my fan base and the fans is merch you know and yeah yeah no <laughs> big time right and you know i've been i've been teasing a couple things uh for the past couple years but i think the biggest thing i need to like really let go is i'm i'm very picky yeah. at least when i want to represent my brand yeah. and stuff like that so if you got if you have and we could talk off air but if you have designs we can get you in touch with you know, i appreciate the that get it done for sure uh people like to support that way um it blows my mind Something as stupid as Big Jeff Audio or Hair Tricks or the things we have that people want to wear the stuff. Uh, I still don't understand it. You know, when I started the company, um, it was Big Jeff Online Inc. It was just a corporation, right? I, I yeah. never planned to go this route. But when we changed the Big Jeff Audio, I'm like, who the hell's going to want to wear that, right? And, right. you know, it's it's amazing. Um, probably have different stuff over time with with hats and different things like loud and uh people love the swag and it's a way for them to support you for sure yeah appreciate uh, you, the swag. You, gotta, you gotta give that to people man for sure i gotta tell you that all right if you're just tuning in uh i'm big jeff from bigjeffaudio.com we are a online car audio company uh we sell all types of brands worldwide um and dj mark v has been a uh, honored guest and a true friend. We talk from time to time and just market back and forth, and that's what it's about. 
how big do you think your audience is? I mean, do you, I know you. I've seen people in there from other countries. Do you think it's hit that that where it's outside the U.S. or what? Yeah, I've been blessed enough to be able to reach uh, uh, Spain, Italy, uh, Australia. So when some people have come in Australia, they're like saying good morning. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because they're just getting. You know, I've already seen on here, and I think that would be more important than swag. People asking about USB drives with music. Yes, I, I I bet you my my people would be interested oh. to buy that stuff. You got in our world, there's guys that actually they call rebase where they kind of take music and enhance the the lower notes. But it's big. Uh, I think people would love to have full out music. Do you have a uh, USB that you've given? I mean, I've gotten for me, but that you could sell. I definitely am in looking into that at the moment. Uh... I've still stuck to just the streaming platforms like SoundCloud. Right. Uh, but the USB, it, the, all the physical format is definitely oh, that's something actually, I would consider. Think of it on SoundCloud. Where, what is, how do they get you on SoundCloud? So if you have the app or on the computer, just download SoundCloud from the App Store. Or if you're on your computer, SoundCloud.com. Just search for DJ underscore Mark V. Okay. And I have all of the past Facebook broadcasts back since 2016. Uh, I have a couple of Twitch broadcasts on there. I have a lot of mega mixes, some remix and edits that you can stream on there for free. And uh, DJ underscore Mark V, just like how it says right there on Instagram. Same thing on SoundCloud, DJ underscore Mark V. Yeah, I think nowadays you don't even need a USB because everything streams for sure. Uh, yes, so sir. if you want to check that out, you can. Or go to his Facebook. Uh, all those every Friday is uploaded. Uh, pretty cool that you can just play it at any time. Uh, you got some people. Let's see. We got Andrea Davis. Let's yes. play, let's get some of these up here. Mark Thank Z, you, Andrea. Mom. Then we have uh, Erica. Must be really trying to get that job with you because she has been. Erica, up. I see you, sister. Thank you so much. She's she's a one since day one. So uh, oh, okay, she's been around since day yes. one. Yes. Uh, Spain and Italy, Australia. I'm guessing her asking <laughs> if you're in there. I know what she uh, means by that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me see here. This is a nice one. Mark V and music changed from 2000 to 2004 affected. Okay, great question. Uh, from see, 2000 Jane. to 2024 has affected the way you DJ. I'm guessing Eric, more than just the streaming. Great question. Has it has music changed from two the? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the music that has come out now, I would have to say. Uh, starting maybe since 2018, 2019, the songs have been a lot shorter. A lot of producers have been getting straight to the point, you know, not the long intros that you have heard from like Florida breaks or breakbeats where there's like a two minute intro where you're like, wow, when's the song coming in? Yeah, I know. When is it coming up? Right. Right. But on the DJ side, that has helped us be able to, uh, work and let that, let that mix marinate. Right. Now with everyone's short attention span, which is just the way it is now, right? A lot of the songs are are short, so you got to be on your toes, Eric. Uh, at least DJ wise, to to try and be able to be ready to mix in and mix out. And yeah, it's definitely evolved, Eric. Great question. Let me ask you this, because I know you obviously DJ uh, techno, but do you listen to that all the time, or what is your oh, choice? Oh no! Music? Oh wow! Love great question. When I'm not behind the decks, oh gosh, it's maybe some. I I I've had a phase where I had my heavy metal phase. Okay, so yeah, when I, I go to kid. Def Leppard. I mean, back when I was a kid, Def Leppard and all those for sure. Yeah, I listen to Pantera, uh, Megadeth, uh, Helmet. I mean, a lot of like stuff that you probably don't, some have never heard, because right. my my neighbor back in the day. Uh, uh, 20 years ago, he was a drummer, so he got me exposed to that music, and I appreciate him getting me exposed to that music. And then on the other, uh, on the other spectrum, uh, you know, hip hop, R and B, yeah, uh, the newer stuff, I haven't been able to to keep up. There's just so much music out there to keep up. Yeah, with. everybody's everybody now has it at yeah. home to make these beats. You know, I'm not a country listener, but there's one song I can't remember the title, but in the Yukon we have built. Uh, there's one song that just drops in there and just just gets you in the throat. Um, oh yeah, you know, but all music is made up of highs, mids, and lows. So I mean, it all uh, 
uh, happens. I knew this was going to come up. Uh, Deviant's asking Old Town Road, Big Ben. What are you asking? Hold on, I'll <laughs> pop them in real quick. What are you asking? No, that's the title of the song. Oh, Old Town Road. Heck, damn, he knows better than I know. All right. <laughs> Get Go the hell out of here. There you go. Good job. Uh, we got a question on here. It looks like Deviant's asking. Do you have a system in your vehicle? Yes, I do. I do. I have a, a pickup truck. Uh, oh, baby. And oh, we'll get to that question, Brandon. Uh, but yes, I do. I have one kicker 10. Okay. Um, and I have an old Kenwood double din. Uh, and I think I have some Alpine mids and highs. It's the system's been in there forever. I've never wanted to change it out it's just enough for me to test songs right right while you're you know? driving which is the perfect time to listen to music yes sir right um i really get into like i told you i really get into this dubstep sometimes but it can get irritating but you know <laughs> old school breakbeat stuff that's why i always love you know like beach ball and uh deeper you know songs like that just have that beat i think that'll be played for years to come you know you can never recreate that uh brandon here says mark did you used to run with dj baby ann bass queen no i didn't i have not met uh dj baby ann uh formerly i've i've run into her in some of the record stores back in the day like underground record stores vinyl frontier uh she gave me a promo one time uh at the record store but no i i officially have not worked with marianne uh or done any gig with her so maybe one day Brad's got one here. How do you feel about the new mel melodic? Melodic breaks. Melodic breaks. There you go. Our framework? on the scene framework, GVN, etc. Oh, Brad, great question. Uh, for me, as you know me, I'm like high octane <laughs> when it comes to like my streaming and like music. But I love the very intelligent melodic breaks. Uh, so what is what is a melodic break? What is, what is how would you explain that? So it, it's a more intelligent, more uh, serious, very spiritual kind of like sound. So it's a broken beat. So that boom, bat, boom, bat uh, beat or underlining. But it has a lot of strings and a lot of vocals. Uh, very, uh, I would say, spiritual sounding in a sense. Right. Um, but very intelligent sounding. You know, not, not a lot of like run dmc samples or beastie boy samples very intelligent EDC. Uh, john caputo actually i've known him for uh years nice. uh, back in home area when are you coming back to edc what is that G johnny oh speaking of edc big jeff you gotta go to it one day they have it in orlando every year they have a dubstep stage oh really you might be blown away on but uh, Johnny's asking that question because I was at EDC uh, about two years ago. So it's an electronic Daisy Carnival. Okay. Uh, which is a huge festival thrown by the Insomniac Group uh, based out of Las Vegas. And they, they go to every major city, country around the world, around the states. Uh, they come to Orlando, of course. And I had the honor to be part of one of the EDC stage representing cool. Breakbeats. Yeah, that's real cool. Yeah. Let me ask this, and I'm going to ask this. If somebody out there is wanting to become dj start doing even something at the house what kind of advice would you give them i love these questions what what would i do oh by the way i don't think i'll be coming back to easy edc johnny um what advice if i were you know i might get a lot a little bit of flack from this but if i were to teach a young kid right now and get them started into djing I genuinely would have them learn how to mix with vinyl. Vinyl first, you know. Right now, it's very easy to learn how to DJ. Anyone can DJ. Yeah, the programs will mix the beats, right? So, yes, sir. yeah, uh, the vinyl definitely for sure. Do you think, uh, I mean, do they need to go out and get special stuff or just keep it simple? You can go organic and actually go to, if you have the ability, go to your local record store and learn how to mix just by ear. However, a lot of the technology now, you can use digital vinyl. So you're still using a vinyl record that controls the waveform, but you're mixing MP3s, you know, but you're still using a vinyl record to be able to move the song back and forth. Right. You know? 
you know, I think what I like about yours, um, the whole show, like I've seen some others, uh, and I don't get me wrong. I've, I've known DJ yeah. Santana back in the nineties. Okay. Oh, I love Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, uh, has been around forever. Uh, but the smoke and mirrors and all that, that's club. I like yours cause it's, it's in your face. You got the right amount of lighting, the right amount of graphics going on in the background. You know, it's something to enjoy without zoning out, right? Oh, thank I, you. I, I, I use it like on Friday that I have it going and I can pay attention while I'm working. Um, but it's a whole show, man. You know, it's energy what you do. I mean, it's, I appreciate you. Thank it's, you. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh, we got DJ Mark V here um, out of Orlando. Been talking here tonight about uh, what he does. Um, is this something you think you'll do for the next so many years? Or, I mean, it's, at this point, it's more of a hobby to you, right? A hobby and more of something, you know, professional. I'm definitely taking what the doing what the fans want and trying to elevate that to where it's more than just a hobby. So at the same time, I make the fans happy and I'm still able to keep the lights on, you know. Right. Well, we were talking about this earlier, uh, even though you can't monetize it, but why not stream on YouTube? You know what? You're definitely going to make me want to, Big Jeff. And I mean, with the software, it's just attaching another thing. But, um, you know, we get people that only watch us on Facebook. And I get a lot of people that say I don't deal with Facebook, right? So, um, right. you know, you know, you get those YouTube people. Uh, but again, I mean, uh, what about a website? Do you have a website? No, at the moment, I've, I, a lot of the, my focus has been on the streaming. I've I, actually, quite frankly, I've been wanting to come back to Twitch. I took a little bit of a hiatus and a break from Twitch because my ability to stream on like going back and forth with Facebook and Twitch has been a bit challenging because if I if I focus a lot on the streaming, I won't be able to have time to focus on, you know, the merch or coming up with more content. Right. So a lot of people have asked, you know, how you know, you, we haven't seen you on Twitch and I'm definitely working my way back there and I have to kind of give up something in order to like focus on something. So like with my website, it's I've had so many different versions of it. Right. But every time I've I've had someone design it and, and create it, it hasn't been what I've, I want it to be. And, and I think now learning from the past, it, it's just going to be more of like a simplified uh, uh, place to be to where you can basically get the merchant and find out more about uh, events and, and like streaming and music. Right. You know, um, and as yeah, I agree, you give too many options, then people can get confused. Spread out. Yeah, uh, yeah too much going on. Um, we got some winners on our end. We were giving away, you guys want to pop that up. We were giving away a uh, excess power battery these last two weeks and um, two audio control uh, parts. One was an epicenter, which enhances the bass, and another one was an amplifier. People had to comment, share the video, and then text us a word to our 737 Big Jeff number. And tonight we are picking those winners. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. If you have any questions here for DJ Mark V, pop them up. We have some time. Yes. Welcome, uh, Facebook chat. I see you. I hope I didn't. Sorry, I missed everyone there in the Facebook chat, but I see you guys check it in. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in on the Big Jeff Audio Podcast. Is there a message you want to give to your followers? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all these years when I was doing this from a phone. Uh, thank you to Big Jeff and Appreciate his that. team for all the work, all the blood, sweat, and tears, all the time and attention that they taken a chance in supporting me. Thank you to everyone for supporting Big Jeff and his business. And thank you to everyone so, so supporting the music. I, I cannot thank you enough. That is that is my message. You, I, you I guys. think too, who you who you market with uh, matters, honestly. Um, one, I always like to work with people that want to work back. Um, it's got to be a two-way street. And two, yes, sir. you, you want to have, even though it could be separate businesses or separate platforms, uh, you, you want to have some kind of connection. And I think that uh, people can see that for sure. Um, I'm not sure if this is somebody else's conversation. 
Erica is asking if you're married. Now, I'm not sure if that's you. Or somebody <laughs> uh, Erica is a Erica is a music fan. Okay. Uh, yeah. I I have a lot of a lot of, of of fans that like to mess around with me in the in the chat. So sometimes you don't know if it's like a troll or or a fan. Uh, <laughs> no, but but I I know the Keith Brian. I see you. Welcome, uh, Erica. Yes, I am. I am gratefully and luck luckfully taken, but uh, we're officially not not married. So we're just, you know, it's like Gene Simmons. You know, we're just partners for life. Right. Uh, <laughs> and we'll leave it at that before anybody gets in yes. trouble. Um, <laughs> we'll see how go out. Yeah, you guys can tune in. I normally share it out right away on Friday. It usually starts, what, about 2 o'clock and uh, plays to about 4. Um, it, it's just a good time. If you're in the car, you can listen to it live. Uh, if you have your Facebook. Thank you. Like I said, there's a cool show going on, and he's got a ton of followers, a lot of people following in there and leaving comments. And you as uh, well, thank you. Yeah, shout out. Let's get another one here, Mark. Uh, shout out to Mark V. You inspired me to come out of retirement, oh. busy out my old year, and play at home in the office. My life loves it. Thank you for your inspiration, Frank you know, Martinez. Thank you so much, Frank. Uh, uh, those comments like that, you know, they 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 gotta hit you. I know there's times where I just don't even want to do what I do anymore. And I have a customer. Uh, there's one in here right now, Juan and Dusty, just big followers, man, that, uh, you know, keep me going, right? Um, right? What's this one here? Is she still going? All matters. My husband died, so I don't even want to get married again. I knew the answer. She knows me. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> so they were testing you. You Test just got me. tested, man. You almost <laughs> fell. I love keeping oh. on my toes. Right. Are you picky with gigs? Oh, here we go. Jim Koss. I see you, DJ Jim Koss. Jim Koss. Are you picky with gigs like I am, DJ Mark V? I am. I am, actually. And, you know, I'm not in the room to be picky, but uh, it's a lot of it of just like like Big Jeff is saying, you know, you, you just it's just how you are making it of who you want to work with. You know, when like, was the with, last time you did a gig outside of streaming? Oh gosh, I would have to say, I would have to say EDC, which oh, really? was twenty, yeah, twenty twenty two, I think. Wow. So, if has anybody even reached out to get you to do a party, and or they has... have, I've been lucky enough and uh, grateful to be asked to do events, but they just, they the planets and stars haven't aligned. You know, like when the actual venue or the event happens. I'm just not able to do it just right. for a lot of personal reasons. So, uh, Andrea Davis really would love to have uh, come DJ my birthday in June at the warehouse, St. Pete late Saint night. Pete. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing she's got a big birthday plan. Check uh -oh. the menu out. It's old school warehouse vibe. Friday. We might just need to pop up there and uh -oh, uh, go live there. Yeah. We'll bring everybody um <laughs> party time, right um yeah, i'd be honored andrea yeah that's real cool okay um we're gonna do real quick because i, I want to get out these winners um we're gonna first pick the winner for the, the excess power it's an s925 it's basically a car battery uh aftermarket with a case and uh We'll go ahead. Do we have the spin the wheels ready? And then we'll let a DJ Mark V announce the winner when it pops up. So let's let's go ahead and spin the wheel for the Excess Power S925 battery. Damien Antonio. You are the winner. Congratulations, Damien. Just contact 737 Big Jeff. I didn't know they had the whole thing in there. That's pretty nice. cool. My guy surprised me every time. Um, we're going to do the audio control epicenter. That's basically, uh, they put that in there and, and it takes the bass notes and like amplifies it. So, you take normally loud system, put the epicenter in there, and make it that much louder. Uh, it's been around for years by audio control. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for the epicenter, guys. Let's go.
Corin Rath, you are the winner. You know, it's hard when you got thousands and thousands of people entering or being a part and there's only one winner. But we try to do multiples every month, Mark. Um, That's awesome. In this case, we're running three in a row. Right before that, we were doing two other things. So it's a way I get to give back uh, to the customers. Um, and it also helps us out by them sharing us out. Okay, we got the last one, which is Naughty Patrol ACX, which is a nice. marine grade amplifier. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel for the uh, winner of that. Let's go ahead and do that. Ario Carrier, you are the winner. I'm going to do some since we got a lot of your fans in here. If you all want to win uh, some Big Jeff swag, we'll probably maybe give away a hat, shirt, um, one of the Big Jeff uh, chains. Go ahead and comment the word Mark, M-A-R-K right now. Go ahead and comment the word Mark in a little bit. We'll pick a winner. Um, all you got to do is comment the word Mark, and then my guys will see that in the comments here, and uh, we'll give something away for sure. So, cool night. We got to learn a little bit more about you. Um, yes. Why don't you give a little breakdown how everybody can find you, especially people that aren't on your side. Um, you guys want to scroll his information at the bottom at the same time. How can... What are the ways they can reach you, watch you, hear you, talk to you? So absolutely, djmarfee.com. For the time being, it just goes directly to my Facebook page, which at the moment has been my main avenue, my main channel to be able to communicate to all of you, to be able to share the music and content with you. So facebook.com forward slash djmarkv. And then on TikTok, just look up DJ underscore Mark V on TikTok, Instagram, as that shows right there, DJ underscore Mark V. And yes, on SoundCloud, DJ underscore Mark V. So if you can't find me under DJ Mark V, it is most likely an underscore on whatever platform you're trying to search me on. So I've seen SoundCloud before. I've never really used it. Is that just a uh, music type platform or? Yeah, essentially it's. Uh, a platform that's been around for a good bit. Um, it is at least the choice for most uh, to be able to upload uh, uh, music that you've created and, of course, sets. So right now so I do have... You, do you upload the Fridays on there also or...? For the most part, yes. Okay. Uh, so, and right now I've just now have been putting up my mixes where there's no shout outs okay so gotcha. yeah like a backlog about 20 mixes that don't it's just a lot of uh, it's just the music no no shout outs no talking uh most of the shout outs are just on the live broadcast let, let me ask you this do you have you ever made your own beat like your own full thing yeah absolutely i i used to work with on the mic from raves to records uh which is right now one of the the biggest hugest producers for breakbeat music you can see or find him on beatport and on bravestermusic.com i've done i've done a lot of cool and successful collaborations with him uh with on the mic aka mike swords now when you i mean you're doing it with what digitally like putting the beats together uh are you sampling in so, you know singers or i mean what what type or what type of genre would you call it? what kind of music would you call it uh for the time being just breaks or break beat uh um, okay. mindy bass uh electro is another uh form of it of what it's called so uh is trance even still around because i remember that was kind of big back in my day yeah paul santana is still uh doing that he's doing still doing trance uh sets on twitch it's still going strong. A lot of people love that, especially for late night uh, viewers. So the first time I heard that song Deeper was actually by DJ Gemini. Oh, Don't really? know if he's around. Okay, this is back in the... the I remember Sassy Gemini. Rant. Okay. 
I was actually on his cover of a CD because in our bad black, our bad time of life, uh, we used to put money into oh. his CDs and him uh, DJing. And they actually, I guess they videoed or recorded me snoring on a couch and he put that into a mix. But that's where I first heard wow. the song Deeper. Uh, actually used to hang out a lot with them back then. Um, wow. You know, it was definitely, I think, a close niche community, especially back then because oh yeah uh, it, it it was weird like it was legal but it wasn't like it was still hidden right raising right. and everything very uh, underground yeah and it was definitely very florida you know what i'm saying um yes uh, ebor city you know orlando yeah. tampa right Ebor. um and then even i remember living in south florida at the casino those clubs would run till five six o'clock in the morning so uh you go to yep. casino and, and be in that club for hours man uh it was yeah, pretty so the sun comes up yeah 100 percent. listen we're gonna go ahead and pick a winner we'll give out some big jeff swag i don't know we'll pick out a shirt hat whatever maybe an umbrella whatever you need um my guys have nice. went through the comments who who are we gonna this one will definitely let mark announce the winner who do we got winner okay all right brandon dasher brandon you are a winner of the big Jeff Audio Swag, thank yeah. you, Brandon Dasher. You can hit us up, text, WhatsApp, or call 737 Big Jeff. That's 737 244 5333. I thought it was the coolest shit ever when I could buy my own number with my name on it. But um, you can hit <laughs> us up any which way and we'll get you hooked up. Congrats, man. Um, let me pull on my squad, Taylor and Ben Jammin, who uh, make this happen every week. Yes, it's There's kind of guys. cool. We had a good crowd here tonight. It's good to see your fans in here. Um, you you seem to have some faithful, some faithful followers, man. Um, blessed, I'm blessed. Thank yeah. you, Taylor. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate you. Well, yeah. thank you. Definitely. And uh, thank you for everybody that's come in that's never seen before. We normally have on car audio type stuff, but I've had uh, DJs on, and I've had uh, man, pretty much everybody that deals with audio and sound. Uh, we should give Erica a reward for the most comments tonight. <laughs> we love you, Erica. Yeah, Erica. I see you, Chad. Yeah, Brandon, thank you, Chad. Erica. Uh, and then I'll say I thank you to all my usual suspects. I yes. see uh, Dusty in there, Juan. Uh, I see a bunch of you. JT, thank you so much for coming in tonight. I got uh, Mark V. You want to give some shout outs here? Yes, absolutely. All the usual suspects tuning in. Brandon, you're, congratulations on the Big Jess. Be sure to uh, contact. The Big Jeff Audi team, Jim Cost, Erica. Oh my gosh, who else? I didn't want to miss anyone. Miami, Mike, uh, Alex, Joe Barcia. I hope you guys are tuned. Keith Franklin, uh, James, Jamie Stone, Randy G. My goodness, Tiger. I'm just going back up in the chat real quick. And wow, Frank and everyone. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for stopping by. And thank you to everyone tuning in on Big Jeff Audio's platforms as well YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. And everything between. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Yeah, you can check us out at bigjeffaudio.com if you ever need any kind of car audio. We ship pretty and much more. Uh, yeah, and definitely more. more. Um, I tell my guys all the time if I get a good deal on socks, we'll be selling socks. It doesn't matter. Uh, yes. But thank you, Mark, for coming on tonight. Yes. Thank, thank you, you Victor. I'll see you. This was kind of fun night, man. Thank you so much. Ben, why don't you take us out of here? Yes, sir. Showing the bag, yeah, that's a wrap. Big sound is the best, and it ain't no cap. Hit the website if you need that merch. It's Big Jeff Audio and hit the search. I know you had fun, yeah, you gotta admit it. That boy Big Jeff took his thing and he did it. Always a win, yeah, never a L. Did you smash the like, subscribe, and hit the bell? Share it on your socials, put it on blast. We'll be back next week with another podcast. Big sound in the house, like no other deviant. Big Jeff, the bass head brothers. <laughs>